Hello, Internet Wrestling fans. Super Mark Thompson here with this week's recap of NWA Pro Wrestling Action. It's been a big week uh, all around the country for NWA. We uh, returned to the Frank and Sons Arena on October 30th with another alternative wrestling show. Also returned back here to the LA Dojo for our weekly Sunday shows. And at the same time, having shows uh, back east, Mr. David Marquez, uh, there in attendance for shows in Connecticut and New Jersey. But let's get right to the action that happened here this past Saturday, October 30th, at the Alternative Wrestling Show. Frank and Sons Arena once again packed with a fans ready to see an amazing night of action, and they were not disappointed. Uh, we started off our first match of the night, had Los Luchas, the Copa de Lucha winners, Phoenix Star and Zocre, taking on Peter Goodman and Sean Riddick. Now, Goodman and Riddick had Andrew Hellman in their corner there at ringside. You see him trying to get involved in the match. A uh, grisly little bump there for Peter Goodman as he gets tossed on his head by Los Luchas. And it's actually Los Lucha who comes away as the winners in this tag team match. Paul Tracy went up against uh, the Iceman Webster Delphini after that. Paul Tracy is the current NWA British Commonwealth champion defending his belt against uh, the Iceman. And there you see a technical contest back and forth. And finally, it is Paul Tracy who comes out the winner, walking away once again with that British Commonwealth title. Next on the card, Baby Slim, a popular favorite here at AWS, took on Sexy Sonny Sampson. Now, Sonny Sampson seemed to have the crowd a little puzzled by his antics, and uh, Baby Slim didn't seem to like them much himself. He ended up winning that match also with his finishing move. After that, AWS NWA Pro Tag Team Championships on the line as the champions Midnight Dynamite went up against their longtime rivals Bo Cooper and Sexy Chino. Now, brawling Bo Cooper and Sexy Chino have been tagging on and off uh, over the last year, trying to pursue those, those tag team belts. And this time, this match, it finally happened. Bo Cooper and Sexy Chino are your new tag team champions. After that, it was a six-man affair, three-on-three -three tag team match with Plague, Rocky Romero, and TJ Perkins teaming up to take on the Young Bucks and Tommy Come Williams. Now, the Young Bucks have been teaming for a while, but uh, Rocky Romero and, and TJ Perkins, as you see, they're working very well together as a team. The Plague coming in and being his usual mighty destructive self, the winners of that match, Plague, Rocky Romero, and TJ Perkins. After that, the AWS heavyweight title on the line, Alcatraz, your champion, defending against the Human Tornado, a former uh, champion himself. Now, these two, uh, they had a heated affair. It was quite a contest between the two of them back and forth. Uh, Vanderpile at side for Alcatraz trying to secure a victory for him but uh, Human Tornado able to withstand that punishment. Uh, finally a foreign object is brought into the ring Alcatraz with the steel chair but AWS uh, head honcho Bart Kapinski not gonna have any of that. Uh, a brief little stare down before Alcatraz shocked everyone in attendance by leveling that chair right across Bart's head. Bart was uh, rendered unconscious, had to be carried away from ringside. There you see uh, he's just not responsive at all. Um, they had to revive him in the back and uh, we'd like to wish the best to Bart and uh, definitely going to be some ramifications for those actions at the next AWS show. Speaking of which, the next AWS show is going to feature the LA, the Los Angeles Light Heavyweight Championship, being defended. Uh, the champion currently, Lionheart, who has been feuding with Little Cholo for the past couple months. It has been one of the most violent feuds that we have seen here in Southern California, and it will be capping off on October 21st in a steel cage. Now, they had a contract signing for that match to start off the AWS show. Uh, there you're seeing some footage of it. Uh, of course, nothing can go smoothly with those two. They are not the best of friends. Um... From that match and or from that contract signing and the melee that ensued, that is what set up for our tag team main event of the AWS show, which saw Lionheart teaming up with Scrap Iron Adam Pierce against Little Cholo and Tommy Wilson. Now this was a tag team match that uh, just had to be seen to be believed. There was incredible things going on all over the place. Uh, there you see a table brought into the brought over to ringside and set up. 
Uh, the crowd was very scared at what was going to happen here. Eventually, there you see Lil Cholo jumping off of the top rope, planting both feet right into Lionheart's chest and sending him through that table to the floor below. Uh, you see Lionheart just incapacitated from that spot. And the action didn't stop there. Even after this match, Little Cholo and Lionheart continuing to battle backstage. We tried to get an interview with, Lion, uh, with Little Cholo, but Lionheart just wasn't hearing it. The two of them brawling had to be separated by the workers in the back and uh, this is just a feud that we can only hope that a steel cage a 15 foot steel cage will be the thing to finally settle this horrible feud now after the match uh, this this actually marked over a year of straight losses for scrap iron uh, his manager Vanderpile voicing his concern and not happy with the way that things have been going for the past year there you see the two actually coming to blows after the match we had a chance to speak with them uh, after the match. Uh, let's let's hear what they had to say. Sorry. Time to take a hard look in the mirror, isn't it? <laughs> For you, Vanderpile. Long years, Vanderpile. Too many. I owe everything that you've done to me to myself. Why? Because I brought you into this godforsaken business and said, I look in the mirror. I look in that mirror. Do I see a fool? Do I see somebody who lost direction, Vanderpile? Maybe. Or maybe I see the greatest wrestler in this history of the NWA. Maybe I see the mastermind. You think that you planned it all? Five years. Five long years. Now you may be asking yourself, does Pierce really like it when the fans cheer? Does he like it when they chant his name? Did I like wrapping my fist into your face? Maybe just a little. Maybe not at all. Five long years. Call you my brother, maybe not by blood, but certainly by spirit, and certainly in the wrestling business, synonymous, Pierce Vanderpile, no more. So it must be. For too long, you want to ridicule, talk down, point fingers, and how dare you slap my face. I didn't do any of that for the fans. I did that for myself. There you hear Adam Pierce very fired up about what has happened, but uh, let's let's actually go and uh, we got a chance to interact with uh, Vanderpile also backstage with Alcatraz. Let's see what they had to say. Dude, I'm telling you, Vanderpile, I don't care what Bart's gonna do. That's the least of our worries. I'm still a champ. He can take that belt away from me. He can do whatever he wants. Who cares about Bart? I showed him what happens when someone steps in our business. NWA bookings, AWS, whatever the hell they are. You get in my business, you mess with my title reign, that's exactly what happens. I leave you laying out there with a chair shot. You don't worry about that. We'll deal with Bart and whoever else steps in our way later. What are we going to do about Adam? <laughs> there you have it, a rather questionable reaction from Vanderpile as Alcatraz tries to boost his spirits. It's really hard to say what's going on between uh, Vanderpile and Scrap Iron. I guess we'll just have to wait and see at the next AWS event whether those two brothers are still as close as they have been. That next event, October 21st at the Frank and Sons Arena, a steel cage match between Little Cholo and Lionheart for the Los Angeles Light Heavyweight Championship. Well, that's it for the Alternative Wrestling Show. Let's turn it over here to the Enoki Dojo in North Hollywood, where our latest Sunday show continued. The massive war between Team USA and Team Mexico continues to rage on with this past show. Our first match saw the tag team from Team Mexico, Mexican Balloon and Cadaver, taking on Team USA's Thunderwolf and Colossal Chris. There you see the match action happening right now. Colossal Chris and Mexico Balloon, Mexican Balloon having a bit of a pose off, and it's uh, difficult to see who really comes out the better of that. Balloon with some, some terrible attacks there in the turnbuckle against Thunderwolf. And then your winner, Mexican Balloon, with his signature Balloon Salt from the top rope and Cadaver are your winners. The next match of the evening was one-on-one. -on -one. Puma versus Bino Gambino. Now, this was an amazing match. Uh, 
that action spilled all over the ring. Uh, Puma started off on the offensive, but Bino quickly took advantage of a wounded ankle and uh, continued to work that over the entire match. It ended up, however, not doing him any good as Puma ends up winning the match with a top rope knee drop off of the very top rope. Uh, devastating move. Puma there is your victor. The next match on the card was the defense of the British Commonwealth champion, NWA British Commonwealth champion, Paul Tracy here from Ireland and defending his title once again against the Iceman Webster Delphini, getting a rematch from the day before in the AWS. Now, uh, the, Paul Tracy in this match showing exactly why he is the champion. Uh, eventually, the match ends with a top rope knee drop from Paul Tracy. Paul Tracy, your winner and still NWA British Commonwealth champion. After that, a lucha attraction saw Super Kendo and Pikachu team up against Profeta Jr. and Impacto. That match... Uh, another one that was just amazing to watch. Moves flying all over the ring. A steel chair there brought into the ring by Impacto, but it backfires. And the winners of this match, Super Kendo and Pikachu. After that, another tag team match. This one with Mini Black Shadow and newcomer Jason King teaming up against Mini Vertiz and Plague. Now, Jason King and Plague, both uh, members of Team USA and uh, teaming with opposite team members here from Team Mexico, um... There you see Jason King and Plague refusing to tag in as the masked men continue to fight. Uh, finally, the match is declared a no contest as Plague and Jason Kidd, Jason King uh, continue their attack on Team Mexico. Uh, both teams out to separate, and uh, that match just there's there's no way to call a winner because there's just no winners that to be found. Uh, after that, it's time for your main event of the evening. Everyone was waiting to see this. The crowd. Obviously, in, in big support of their team, uh, Team Mexico and their captain, Durango, versus Team America and their captain, Rocky Romero. Now, Rocky was the first one to enter the ring and uh, came out with full Team America in troop along with him at, alongside. And the referee, quick to send that team to the back, barring Team America from ringside, they, uh, they were not allowed to be part of this match. There's been too much cheating and too much dirty work going on these past couple weeks. And they want Rocky Romero and Durango to fight this one one-on-one. -on -one. But as you see, Durango making his entrance, immediately attacked by Rocky Romero and Team America then taking him all the way around this arena, this the LA Dojo, through the crowd, through chairs, until they finally threw him to the ring and the match could start proper. Rocky starting off in control of this match. Durango obviously getting jumped before by Team USA and Team USA just, just taking control of that. Rocky... Just throwing him around and trying to cheat as much as he can. There you see the finish. Durango trying to do a sunset flip. Bino Gambino and Team USA there to stop that from happening. And Durango, one, two, three. There's the pin and your winner. Team you Mexico's team captain, Durango, comes out on top. And I actually have standing by here, I'd like to get a couple words with Durango and Team Mexico about what happened today and what we have coming up next week. Sí, estoy muy contento de que México ganó sobre Estados Unidos. Y gracias a la ayuda de nuestros nuevos ayudantes, los chivos, los apoyando chivos. a México, vamos a ganarles todas las luchas que quieran. Ahorita queremos una revancha, porque siempre intervienen a, a golpearme. Estoy bien madreado, pero gané, estoy contento. Y ahorita, gracias a los chivos, podemos salir avantes. La Chiva Power y Durango Kid, somos una tercia que nadie nos puede redondar, porque somos increíbles. Somos increíbles y podemos encontrar a cualquiera que podemos ganarle. This night was a crazy night. Team USA, you're going down. Against Durango and the Chivos, there's no chance, brothers. And they brought the Chivos in just tonight for my brother, Durango. And you, Impacto, and you, Rocky, you guys are a dead man. And our guys, Plague, Plague and Jason King, you're nothing, because Mexico, numero uno, Mexico, Mexico, diles Durango. There you have it, a fired up Team Mexico, ready for their big match next week. All of Team Mexico taking on all of Team USA, next week here at the Inoki Dojo. Well, that wraps up a big week for NWA Pro Wrestling, but an even bigger one on in store, as next week we will be holding television tapings for the NWA Pro Wrestling Showcase, television show to be airing on MAV-TV November 1st. Those tapings coming up, and uh, 
I got a chance to speak with some of the superstars that will be appearing on that show today, and uh, here's what they have in store for Mav TV. You are going to be graced with my presence. You are going to have the opportunity to see the Iceman do what he does best, and that's whoop somebody. Well, you know what I'm saying. Well, I think the world is ready to see uh, Rocky Asuka Romero. They're ready to see the whole package, Mr. Sugar himself on Mav TV. I'm looking forward, Mark, as always, to bringing this belt and the European style of wrestling back to the USA once again. I think it's a great step for NWA Pro and a great step for the National Wrestling Alliance. Good luck, and we'll see you next week at the TV. Well, I'll tell you what, Super Mark, Jason King has arrived. And on MAV TV, once we start the TV tapings, I tell you what, I'm going to rise to the ranks, I'm going to take every title I can, and I'm going to prove to you that, the, that 2006 is Jason King's year. What am I looking forward to on Nav TV? What am I looking forward to with everything to look forward to? The only thing that I happen to look forward to is uh, me, Pito Gambino. You, the viewer, get the opportunity of a lifetime for free to watch the best, say it with me, the best wrestler in the world. Well, wrestlers, fans, producers, and everyone is excited for NWA Pro Wrestling Showcase to get started October 7th, this Saturday at the Enoki Dojo. Be sure to be here. Our fans will be here in droves, and we will have an amazing crowd for that NWA Pro Wrestling Showcase television show starting November 1st. So that does it here from the Enoki Dojo. Thank you for tuning in once again, and we'll see you next week.